Good morning guys and welcome to the video. My name is Amanda. I'm a final year vet student. This is my golden retriever Link and welcome to our radiology rotation. You have a camera hog there, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Ready to get the day started? That's a yes. Okay, so quick little update. I'm currently on the second week of my radiology rotation. This rotation is an OVC rotation and it's actually pretty chill because it's a hybrid format. So we're on campus half the time and then working at home the other half of the time, working at home. But yeah, like I said, it's been pretty chill. And today is one of the days that I'm working from home. So we have a bunch of things that we're supposed to go through and work through on our own at home. And then tomorrow I will be back on campus. So I figured I would film like one day of each, one day at home, one day on campus. And then you guys can get an idea of what we do on the radiology rotation. You guys will see that earlier we had a Zoom call whether we're on campus or at home. We do radiology rounds every morning. So last week we went through some cases from the thorax, abdomen, and then musculoskeletal system, wrote up reports on them, and then went over them with the radiologists. And then this week we're going through presentations on different systems. So my presentation is not till Thursday, but I should probably get that done today. So I'm gonna add that to the to-do list. Our presentations this morning were really cool. One was on the avian pulmonary system and one was on congenital heart conditions in dogs. So that one was very relevant to me. The bird one was super cool, but I will never touch a bird as a veterinarian. So anyway, I think I'm probably gonna take Link for a walk before we get started for today. And then I will give you guys an update on what the plan is for the actual radiology part of today. Well, now that the best part of the day is over, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day trying to get through all of these radiology case sets, and then I will catch up with you in the morning when it's time to head to campus for an in-person day of radiology. Good morning, guys. It is 8.30 and I'm just getting ready to head to campus for my last day of in-person radiology. We have, again, presentations at 9.30 today, so I just have to be there before that, and then we will be in the clinic for the rest of the day looking at ultrasounds, rad ct mri all those fun things so yeah i'm gonna make some coffee i'm gonna pack some breakfast and then we will head to campus Okay, so I thought I would pop on here and explain kind of what we're doing in these videos. Basically, in between appointments when we were on rotation, we had the chance to practice our ultrasound skills with models. So the lovely residents actually created a couple models, one that mimics taking a sample from an organ or from a bladder. And as you can see in the video, the whole sizes decrease. So the goal was to try and get fluid out of the smallest hole by the end of the week. And then the other model, we had to try and find all of the shapes in the model. I think there was like six or seven different shapes that we had to try and find, but I was so thankful to have these models to practice some of our ultrasound skills because we don't really learn a lot of ultrasound in vet school. And when I say we don't really learn a lot, um, we don't really learn any. So this was really helpful and this was definitely the highlight of my radiology rotation for sure. I definitely have so much respect for veterinarians who are trained in this area or who are just really good at this. I definitely underestimated how challenging it would be trying to get fluid from that tiniest hole or even just trying to find like all the different shapes and figuring out what they are with like their 3D configuration was actually quite difficult. So I'm really glad that we had a chance to practice these before I actually go out into real life and have to ultrasound real life animals. So yeah, props to the radiologists and the veterinarians who uh, go out and make this look so easy every single day. And then when we weren't practicing on these samples, we were watching some of the CTs and some of the MRIs taking place. And it was cool to know that if I'm ever referring a patient to a specialty hospital when they need a CT or MRI, I actually understand the process and I know what they're doing. So yeah, that's kind of what's happening in these clips. And with that being said, I'll let you get back to the video.
Hi guys, it is Amanda from the future here. Um, I'm filming this quite a while after I filmed this radiology vlog. I am finally getting around to editing all of my videos from fourth year now that I am officially done vet school. Spoiler alert, I did finish vet school. But I was editing this video and I realized I never finished it, so here I am. Link's also here with me if you want to say hi. Can you say hi, Bubba? Oh, bonk. Sure, link will be in the video now. So basically, long story short, I finished that radiology rotation. I was gonna give you my thoughts on it, but I'm actually filming a video next week. It's a part two of rating my vet school rotation. So this radiology rotation rating will be in that video. So I'm gonna save my final thoughts for that video. Maybe make a prediction down below of what you think my rating is gonna be out of 10. All in all, it was an okay rotation. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I would just come on here, uh, wrap up today's video, also give you an idea of what's going to be going on in the future. Like I said, I have that rotation rating vlog coming up next week. I also have a final exam vlog, and then I have a how to study for the Navli vlog that's coming with also a very exciting giveaway, so stay tuned for that. But then after that, I'm done with all of the vet school content, so definitely leave your comments down below on what content you want to see after all of this vet school content's done. I am starting my new job in a couple couple weeks so I can uh, try and vlog some of that let you guys know what life as a new grad is like and I will also be rebranding this channel as well as my Instagram so keep an eye out for that there's lots of changes coming but I am officially back on YouTube I am excited for what's to come in the future not just in my life but what's to come on this YouTube channel and all of these social medias so if you've stuck around this long or if this is the first video you're ever seeing uh, thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for supporting so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Can you say bye? <laughs>